Good afternoon and welcome to Feed Yourself. Well, this is part three of our three-part brunch series and why not theme our brunch? So this brunch is all about Maryland style steamed crabs. And we're gonna steam these crabs in just a simple, easy beer. Get any brand you want. I got what was on sale. You know, so you're just gonna use this for cooking purposes. You gotta have Old Bay seasoning. Rarely do I talk about brands that I use or endorsements or anything like that, but Old Bay is the only way to go when you're steaming crabs. So we're gonna do the Old Bay, the beer, and you see he's alive and kicking, and some bay leaves. So a couple bay leaves, these are laurel bay leaves that have been dried. They go right into the pot. They're gonna add that flavor that you're not quite sure what it's there when it's missing, but as long as you got it, it adds a nice flavor to it. So for the second recipe that we're going today is going to be a beer bread. And we're gonna use our Guinness Stout. Guinness is a brewery just right down the street from my house. So I'm gonna use Guinness to make a brown buttered beer bread. So let's head over and get these crabs in the pot. Okay, so we got a steaming pot of hot steaming beer, bay leaf and spices. And I'm gonna add a couple more bay leaves to that. I've cooked about three big batches already. So this is gonna be the fourth batch going in. So I'm gonna refresh with some bay leaf and a good shake of Old Bay. Now what I like to do is layer the crabs in, get them in the pot. Come on guys, here they come. Y'all can hear them. And now you can see them. There's one in. There's several in. They are active and alive. These came out of the Chesapeake Bay this morning, so they're fresh catch of the day. And I'm gonna throw a few more in. There's one in. Oh, they're jumping. They're in a good place, super fresh. And I'm gonna add on some more Old Bay seasoning. So, once they're in the pot, they're jumping around. Some more Old Bay on top. Let's put a few more in. Yep, in you go. Here's a nice big one. Here's one more, and we just got three little small ones left in the pot. We're going to throw everybody in and that's going to complete our batch. We got one and there's the last one in. Of course some more Obey seasoning on top of those guys and you can use a lot. Be generous with it. You don't want to be stingy with it. You want that flavor to get into the crabs. I'm just going to pour some beer right on top. You need a tight fitting lid for this. So you're gonna take your tight fitting lid, put it right on top, and those are gonna steam in that beer, Old Bay and Bay Leaves, for right about 20 minutes or so. We'll come back and check on them. Okay, so we're back with our beer bread recipe. This is a brown buttered beer bread. So to start this off, I've got three cups of self-rising flour. I didn't have any self-rising flour and I bought a huge 25 pound bag of all-purpose flour. So I decided I would make my own self-rising flour. And to do that, for every one cup of flour, you need to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and sift everything together. You've got self-rising flour. That's all you gotta do. So this required three cups. So I just added the ingredients appropriately by quantity to make sure I got to that three cup self-rising flour ratio. Okay, now to it, I'm gonna add an additional half a teaspoon of salt. That's for the recipe. A half a cup of dark brown sugar. Traditionally, this recipe calls for uh, white sugar, but because I'm using a dark stout, I wanted to use the brown sugar to pull in some of those caramel notes. Uh, I really want that flavor profile to be nice and rich in the bread so it'll complement the brown butter the brown sugar and the dark beer so all i'm doing now is just combining those three things together 
I'm going to make sure the sugar is incorporated into the flour with the salt. And I'm going to make a small well in the center of the ingredients in the bowl. And I'm just going to take one 12 ounce beer and pour it right into the middle of the bowl. Very nice. And then just put your stirrer, spoon, scraper, whatever you got. Just stir from around the rim and fold the flour into the beer. And it's going to come together quick. It's going to make a very shaggy dough. This is a uh, quick bread. So once that baking powder starts to get wet, it's going to start to expand. It expands twice. So when you see double acting baking powder, the first time is once it hits moisture. Once it gets wet, it starts to expand. The gases start to release. Once it hits the oven and hits the temperature that it's looking for, it's going to expand and rise again. So this is basically a quick bread recipe. It's almost like a loose biscuit dough. You could make drop biscuits or muffins with this same bread recipe just by putting it into a different pan. Now I've got a loaf pan that I sprayed. No six spray all around, coated the bottom. And in goes the bread dough. Make sure we get it all in. We're gonna bake this today at 375 degrees, so make sure you preheat your oven. And it's gonna take about 40 minutes to bake. So once we got that in, just spread it around to the corners. And lastly, we're going to add to it our browned butter. So this is a quarter cup of browned butter. It's got that nice uh, caramelized milk solid. So the sugars in the butter have actually started to brown. And I'm just going to drizzle that right over the top of the bread. Let's give it a quick turn. Make sure that butter is distributed all over. And again, into 375 degrees the oven for 40 minutes. So this is gonna go in the oven. I've got one already prepared here. So I baked it about an hour ago, so it's nice and fresh. If you can see that bread, it's browned up nicely on all sides. I let it cool on a cooling rack and we'll just slice it. Nice, nice crumb structure, nice color. I want to taste this. Mm. Brown butter beer bread. Delicious. The brown sugar adds just enough sweetness. The beer is present, but not overwhelming. And it's got that nice brown butter topping on it. So, bread's done. I'm going to hop back over and check on our crabs, see what they look like, and then we're going to pull those out and go on with the rest of our menu. Be right back. So we have a huge mound of steamed Maryland crabs right here and they're done in beer, Old Bay, and bay leaf. And I'm gonna show you how to actually open one up. Once you flip it over on its back, there's a seam there. You're just gonna take that and use that to lift the top shell away from the crab. Okay, all this can come out. This is unedible. You want to make sure you clean all that out. And you give it a crack in the middle. Everything's out. And if you take the legs and break them away, you'll be able to access that nice crab meat that you want. So that's exactly what you're going for. That's the gold right there. Now I'm going to make a simple dip just with a little apple cider vinegar and a few taps of Old Bay. That's good. And I'm going to take the crab. Oh man, that looks great. I'm just going to dip it into the vinegar and then, oh, a couple pieces fell, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take a bite of it. 
Mmm. Delicious. Seasoned. Flavorful. It's got that Old Bay um, essence that you want. The splash of vinegar wakes everything up. This is a good one. So, if you want to do a seafood bounty brunch, you can. Throw in some fried shrimp. Throw in a nice salad, maybe a seafood salad. Uh, do a quiche. We got the quiche recipe from last week. You can add crab meat or shrimp or anything to that and turn it into a whole seafood themed brunch. And summertime is great for Maryland style beer steamed crabs and of course our brown buttered beer bread. Remember, feed yourself well and see you next week.